but we're going to open our tornado kit and see what comes with it. And it looks like this? something that attaches the two bottles together. And is that a cow? Warning. Oh, it's a cow. Oh, a yeah, because in the tornado label, in the tornado label, it's a cow. It showed a cow stuck in the tornado. Look. The you take the top off of Our. that one and can you please put <laughs> this on that and twist it down. Okay. All right. So now put that on top and twist it down. Now what? Now, the tornado is caused by the water in the bottle moving really, really fast while it's spinning towards the center. A tornado! Wow! But the force that's trying to pull the water towards the empty center is called centripetal force. That's the force that's keeping the water moving in a circular path while gravity is constantly pulling the water down. When the tornado goes in, how come, how come it just goes like that, like a waterfall, and not just straight down? Oh, that's a great question. All right, you can put the cow in. Okay. Here's the cow. He's gonna Huh? Flip it over. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Okay. Okay. Oop. Let's go. Give it a swirl. There it is. Oh, no. Look at the cow. And spirit. No! No! Where's the cow? There he is. Don't die! But you're asking why it no. comes down the side like this, right? Oh, look at Dougie. What Dougie? He's being. No. Let me answer your question. You know how when you're running in a race and you run really, really fast and then you cross the finish line and you slow down? Well, when you slow down, you're still running in the path of the track, just slower. The water's doing the same thing here. It's slowing down in the same circular path it was going. That's going down fast. This is not going to survive. Mommy, can we do something else for the instead of the cow? I go back there. Thanks for joining us, future scientists. Check out more fun experiments right here.